enthusiasm in the room. Woo! Super exciting to see these uh, 12 lovely graduates walking across the stage here. So we are anticipating that with great delight. Uh, I'd like to welcome you. Uh, my name is Jeff Seamers. I'm the Executive Vice President at Alaska Christian College. And we are so excited to see you. Uh, family members, friends, supporters, significant others, all kinds of people. Uh, sons, daughters um, that are here to celebrate the graduates. That's what we're here for. That's what it's about. And we really look forward uh, to seeing what is in store for these graduates. Good evening, good evening, everyone. My name is Christiane Zeiger. I'm the campus pastor at ACC. We're so glad that you are here with us, joining with us to celebrate our graduates. At this time, I will be saying a prayer over our ceremony. Father, thank you so much for today. This is such a joyful day of accomplishment and teamwork. And we're so happy to be a part of it, Lord. We just ask that we would be able to be aware of your presence. You are here with us even now, and we just pray that this time would be a blessing not only to the families who have supported our graduates, but also to our staff and friends, and also especially to our graduates and all the hard work that they've done. May this be a reminder to them of the love that you have for them, and may we be uplifted and may we be encouraged by this time. Lord, we pray that everything in this ceremony um, glorifies you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for that word, Tom. Such a blessing. Uh, yeah, failure is not a failure uh, unless you let it stop you. Otherwise, it's just a stepping stone. Such an encouragement. So, uh, yeah, again, failures, even breaking ACC policies, don't disqualify you from following the Lord. Um, they also don't disqualify you from becoming student of the year. <laughs> we uh, just had our end of year retreat and we were playing a game called Never Have I Ever. And someone in the middle said, Never have I ever broken an ACC policy. And many students, including the two I'm about to name, had to stand up and move because they're on the trip. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, we've got policies. Uh, you know, there to help, um, but, but we all make mistakes and we're all learning along the way. Uh, so these students uh, that I'm about to name, they both served as RAs at ACC, uh, and they've also both served on the student appointed leadership team. I uh, was given so much of their time and energy and gifts and skills to our, our community, uh, and we're so thankful for them. And uh, two things that really stand out to me uh, when I think of these two students uh, is one, that they're very others focused, uh, servant hearts, and two, that they pursue Christ passionately. Um, and that, that to me, I mean, if you're gonna have two characteristics that define you, you can't get much better than that, being others focused and pursuing Christ. Um, so again, so thankful for these students. Uh, students of the year for 2022-2023 are Justina Peterson and Walter Bell.
prayer down here at the end, but we are ready to go. Okay, Professor Winkster, you're up. Welcome. It is my pleasure to uh, introduce our graduates from the uh, Associates of Arts and Behavioral Health. So this program is a great introduction to the behavioral health field, um, allowing students to enter the behavioral health field through counseling or other helping professions, um, and a great introduction to uh, further their education, whether through counseling or master's or PhD programs. My first graduate is Lena Andrew. Humble themselves, pray, and 
that seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. And I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. I will be working and traveling during the summer and open to what God has for me afterwards. And I need a moment to speak into that afterwards stuff, okay? So back to my notes here. So Justina will tell you that her first semester at ACC was very difficult. Arriving here as COVID was in full swing. Living in the dorms at KPC and having very few opportunities to connect with activities and other students. For an extrovert, this is extremely difficult. <laughs> As restrictions lifted, we got to know the real Justina. Her personality, her positive outlook, her leadership skills, and her call to ministry. As I got to know Justina, we had several conversations about the call that God was developing in her life. When she changed her major to Christian ministry, she joined a family of others who were deciphering their own callings. Justina, you are thoughtful, compassionate, fun to be around, the long lost cousin of my daughter Rachel, <laughs> but most of all, called of God to an abundant life of following him and serving others. You are a very gifted person. And we look forward to how God will continue to develop those gifts in you. Perseverance character and character hope. 
And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has made it to us. Tiana's future plans, she is going to UAA. Very exciting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
18, 20 to 21. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Dr. Katie Olson.
little competition with the Christian ministry. But he's right, right? No matter what you do, you're serving God. And if we know that Christ is the master teacher, then what does that make the disciples? The paraeducators, right? <laughs> paraeducators are right there working alongside Christ even before paraeducators were a thing. They are so important to share the ministry of Christ. There's no place ever that you will have direct contact with young people's lives for 180 days a year, seven, eight hours or more, especially if you play sports, right? And so this program prepares educators to work alongside lead teachers and students. And sometimes paraeducators go back to their village and they serve as lead teachers. We are the only paraprofessional education program in the state that is highly qualified. These students over the past 10 years, have a 93% pass rate on their national professional exams. So it is an honor to introduce the peer professional graduates for this year. The first graduate is Alicia Keniz from Cooper Lane.
do, whether in word or deed, with, in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God the Father. Tanea's future plans are to work and save, save, save money. This is smart. <laughs> For about a year and then continuing on her education somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. where. <laughs>
and how to do things, and we're all able to come together and help each other learn through it all. We had made imprints on each other in our lives, and with that, we're going to have that to cherish for the rest of our lives. In our time here, we learned many things, but our common thread woven within us is our faith in Jesus. That is what brought us here today, and that is what brought us here today, our belief in God and our hunger to learn more. And if there's any, if there's something we can do to carry, and if there is something we can do, it is to carry that with us to the next step in our chapters, our next step, this next, next chapter in our lives, and to continue to live it out. I'd like to thank everyone for coming here and giving me the opportunity to speak and to represent our graduating class. It's been a pleasure knowing to all, all of you to be able to share this precious moment. And I wish you all the best on your future. And I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. Thank you. Alaska Christian College, I have the pleasure to present the members of the graduating class of 2023. These students have been approved by the faculty of Alaska Christian College for graduation. Now we present them to you for the conferral of their degrees. So students, from me, you have been diligent in your studies. You have attained the requirements stipulated for your respective academic degree. You have affirmed the mission and the spirit of this college. With the affirmation of the faculty, the, uh, the authority of the Board of Trustees, and exercise of the powers granted by the State of Alaska, as President of Alaska Christian College, it is my privilege to also confer on you the academic degree which you have attained with all the rights, privileges, honors, appertaining, I have no idea what that means, <laughs> to that degree. You may turn your tassel from the right to the left. You are graduated!
prayer of life. One who saves all life and gives grace to live each day. We honor you, we worship you, and we glorify you through the life and deep callings of our graduates. By your spirit, you have empowered them. You have provided them with your constant presence, whether they always recognize it or not. Now we pray that same presence continues and that their sense of your spirit would be intensified so that your passions become their passions. Your heart becomes their heart. Your way of loving people becomes their way of loving people. We pray your constant comfort in times of pain, your grace in times of mistake, and your joy through everything. We only have a small glimpse of the futures of these graduates, but you know their paths like a GPS. Light that path, O oh God. Call them deeply and walk with them through everything. We boldly pray that whole communities be transformed by their work and their love, and that they would always, always have the courage to stand up for what is right. Graduates, if you feel comfortable with this and are open to the next steps that God has for you, place your hands in front of you with your palms up as a way of accepting the grace and direction that God now has for you. And Lord, as these graduate gifts give their lives to you, we give them to you as well and to the people they will love and serve. And it is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Just by way of closure here, we're going to sing our benediction song just a few minutes in, wherever they might come on up. But I wanted just to let you know that we're going to take a big picture here of all the graduates up on the stage. And so those of you who have cameras be ready to go because we'll enjoy uh, snap pictures. I also want to invite the faculty to then make a uh, kind of two sides here and staff also that are here today kind of two sides of the rows here so when the students depart we can give you one more hug as you need to go out to the center aisle. So uh, we're ready to sing the closing song. You think it's a cappella baby? All right. <laughs>